It's simple to see it's at Magic TV So the world can believe it's at Magic TV We're here with Big Boy And the most important thing is We're going to talk about a fight that's going to excite you Because it's two great fighters Victor Ortiz yeah. and of course Floyd Mayweather Both favorite fighters of mine And you know I, I gotta say that Victor is a very hard fighter. He's got a lot of heart. Floyd's got speed, and he certainly has the ability to uh, outsmart other fighters. Right, right. I think it's gonna be explosive, man. You got you got Floyd that everyone's kind of saying, hey, you know, what's going on with this Pacquiao fight? You got uh, Victor Ortiz with people saying, you know, is he ready? I think that's enough fuel for both fighters to kind of come out. For one, Floyd doesn't want to take that L. Victor, I'm pretty sure, even with starting tonight. Victor is a guy that's saying, you know, I deserve to be there. And I got to capitalize on this platform that I'm going to be standing on on September 17th. So I don't look at this fight as like, man, what is what is this fight? What are they doing? Like, these are two professional boxers that got a lot to win and a lot to lose. So I think it's going to be explosive, man. I'm excited for the fight. Everybody want to see a particular fight with Mayweather and Pacquiao. But if that's not happening, I'm watching this one. This is it. Let's talk about when Mayweather fought uh, Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar was very tunnel-focused. He wasn't versatile. He was just moving forward. He didn't have that versatility to move from left to right like Floyd did. Right. I think Victor will fight yeah. it different. Yeah, Vic, Victor is Victor moves. You know what I'm saying? And even with, with Oscar, I was, I was kind of surprised on Oscar's performance that night. But I had a chance to talk with Oscar uh, probably a couple months ago, right after the Berto fight. And Oscar was saying how Victor's that guy that's going to come and avenge his fights that he lost to, the fighters that he lost to. So this this could be it, you know? And so until we see the other fight with Pacquiao and Mayweather, which... See, you're looking past it already. we, we got to remember what's happening there now. It is. September the 17th, MGM Grand. Yes, sir. It's going to be an explosive night, man. So I, I'm ready for it. I'm a boxing fan, and I, I'm ready to watch that with both eyes open. And you know Mayweather listens to a lot of great music and has his own record company. And tell us what's happening in the music scene today with groups that may have their own uh, websites promoting their own stuff. Yeah. I mean, everybody now, that's pretty much what they do. It's uh, The business now is all about social networking. So you don't have the, the big def jams and everything that you're waiting to put records out on. I mean... There's guys right now that's that's totally eating and eating very well because they're in a position where they can get their stuff right to you via Facebook, their website, Twitter. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you, you don't have to wait for an album to come out on the major labels anymore because now you got major guys doing major things on a major label site. You know? Well, there you have it. Celebrity scene right here on Ed Magic TV. Catch you later. Check it out. All right, now. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> thank you.